Sign me up for this shit. Hey, how's it going everybody? Deshaun Rexton back for another video for you guys today. And today is Deshaun Does Talk episode four. So as you saw by the title, I'm sure, Samoa Joe versus Brock Lesnar being rumored heavily for WrestleMania 33. Now, I'd be a huge fan of this. Samoa Joe, you know, he's an up-and-coming star. He should be coming up to the main roster soon. And Brock Lesnar's a beast. You just gotta love the beast no matter what. He's just a beast. He's the beast. He's the beast. If you hate Brock Lesnar, I don't like you. But what really makes me excited for this match is that no one really in the WWE right now could actually put up a fight against Brock Lesnar. There's, you know, a couple guys, maybe Braun Strowman, stuff like that. But, you know, putting up Samoa Joe against Brock Lesnar would be a fantastic match. It would be an epic brawl. You know, it would be chaotic, and I think it would be, you know, a pretty good marquee match for WrestleMania. Samoa Joe's proven that he can work with small guys like Finn Balor and Nakamura and stuff like that, so why not throw him in the ring with Brock Lesnar, see what happens. Although I would like to see Samoa Joe win the Universal title, I think, you know, hold it off for a while. You know, let him get rolling into the WWE with a big match at WrestleMania, maybe another match at Extreme Rules, then maybe like the summer of 2017, he can, you know, that could be his year, his summer. But yeah, just thinking about this match gives me a lot of goosebumps, so I hope this match happens. It would be awesome if it did. I, would, I don't want to see Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar again. I want to see something fresh and new, you know, I don't want to see that crap again. So Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe, make it happen, WWE. He's the phenomenal one. He's had the best year of his career in WWE in 2016. AJ Styles, rumored to go to Raw. Now, while that's a little confusing, I think it could make sense, you know, he's just been the top guy in WWE right now. He is the best heel right now on SmackDown. And like I said, he is the phenomenal one, so do whatever it takes to make him better and better as his WWE career grows. I'd like to see AJ Styles on Raw just because it would bring, you know, new faces and new fresh matches to Raw. Now, I don't think this is going to happen anytime soon because I think he's still going to finish his program with John Cena, AJ Styles at the Royal Rumble. But I did read that the draft is going to be happening possibly a month after WrestleMania, so it would be interesting to see what happens if he goes to Raw, you know, someone else from Raw comes to SmackDown, like Sami Zayn, Cesaro, even Kevin Owens, something like that. They trade champions, whatever the hell they'll do. But it's pretty important news just because he's the WWE champion, so you never know what WWE might have up their sleeve. If they'll do a big trade before WrestleMania season, what... What will happen we don't know but i'm excited to see what happens because wrestlemania season is always excited so i can't wait to see what happens you never know with wrestlemania season coming up and the royal rumble coming up elimination chamber everything like that so it's very exciting i can't wait to see what happens now i wouldn't say bray wyatt has had a career resurgence but he definitely you know back up there on smackdown he's back up there with randy orton you know they're doing this whole wide family angle with randy orton and the wide family and stuff like that you know i thought it was cool to begin with but now it's just kind of getting boring but now they're rumoring bray wyatt to be a heavy favorite to win the royal rumble in 2017. i would dig it but they would have to do it right bray wyatt's the kind of person where if you don't do something right with him then it's just a complete failure if they do it right like it's supposed to then that'd be awesome if they have him go, you know, with the Wyatt family, with Randy Orton, that kind of angle, I don't think it would be good. But if he goes on his own, you know, demolishes people, you know, he throws like 14 people out of the Royal Rumble, something like that, I think it would be amazing. I don't know who he would face, if it would be Styles, if it would be, you know, if Styles would turn face. I don't know what will happen going into WrestleMania, but we will have to see. But Bray Wyatt, he's definitely... He's definitely been consistent this year. He's definitely, you know, boosted him up a little bit. But Bray Wyatt, he's proven that he's still a force to be reckoned with in the WWE. He's still proven that he's still there. You know, he's not invisible anymore. He's the tag team champions, for crying out loud. But if they were to go through with this plan, they would have to do it right. They can't do it, you know, a crappy angle. It would have to be perfect. They have to, you know, make him look like a strong, strong heel, a strong, you know, physical dominant. So Bray Wyatt went in the Rumble. It would be interesting, but they would have to do it right. So that's going to do it for me today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to leave your comments down in the comment section below. Tell me what you guys think about these three possibilities happening. To be honest, if all three of these things happened, I would be a huge fan of all of them. But the Bray Wyatt one, it's got to be right. So anyways, guys, let me stop rambling. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to stay awesome, be awesome. Remember to rate, comment, subscribe.